Assalamualaikum everybody. Good evening, I'm Hidaya from Genius Young Minds where we help your child fall in math within a very short period of time. Okay, today I'm back with the next question, question number 14. I've posted this question I think yesterday. So I think some of you have already tried this sum either on your own or maybe you get your child to do it uh, together with you or on their own. Right? Whatever it is, if you have tried this sum, come let's check your answer against mine. Okay, for those of you who are online, why not like, love, share this video so that other parents will be invited to watch this video now and they can follow through and also learn how to solve this sum. Today, we are going to actually apply the repeated identity concept and the all-changing quality concept for this sum. So you can see such question, even though it's so simple, it's short and simple, okay, but sometimes you have to apply more than one concept to solve the sum, okay? So you might be wondering, some of you, how to do this, this question, okay, without drawing the model. As usual, I'm going to solve this sum using two methods. One is the table method, the VCA. Another one will be the model method. You decide which one is easier and better for your child, right, based on their understanding, okay? Right, so let's begin. Always read someone's truth and then after that, we're going to apply the different concepts. I'm going to keywords and apply the different concepts. Okay, thank you for all who just joined. Why not share this video so that other parents can also watch it and then be invited to watch this as well? <laughs> like, love, share. Okay, all right. So, we'll have some red pens and blue pens. One over seven of the pens were red, right? When he sold one over three of the red pens and bought half as many blue pens as before, he had 27. Red and blue pens in the end. How many blue pens are there or did he have at first? Right? Seems very, very easy. But the trick is that this question, okay, something is repeated. Right? Walaikum salam everybody. Okay, something is repeated here. Let's find out. Number one, find out the exact units for the red and blue pens. Okay, let's go back to the first sentence. We'll have some red pens and blue pens. Do we know? I do not know. But if we move on, 1 over 7 of the pens were red. I'm given a clue there. I'm given the fraction. And as you know, students, I've said this many times, and parents also, i said this many times. I mentioned this before. Fractions in its simplest form is actually already in its units form. Means this is one unit, this is seven units. Okay? Now let's go back to the given item. Red. One over seven of the pens were red. One unit is red. This is my red. And this is my total. Okay? I will be right here. One over seven. One unit and seven units. This is my red. This is my total. Can I find my blue? Yes, I can. Okay. I know those of you can do it, do this mentally. You know this is six units. But those of you how to get six units? Total. This is a total tense. Denominator always denotes the total of that item. Okay, of this item. The item here is actually the pens. Okay. So the total number of pens is seven. I have one unit of red, so I take seven unit minus one unit. I get my Six unit of blue pens. Okay? Now, when he sold one over three of the red pens, keyword is sold. You know that sold is actually my change keyword. Okay? And then of the red pens and bought. Bought is another change keyword. Right? So again, this is one unit, three units. One unit he sold. So this one unit is actually my sold. Three units is referring to the red pens. Okay? Total of the red pens. This is my red pens. Now, for those of you who is thinking, eh, how come red pens, there are two different units? You are right. Okay? Because the first sentence, I know that my red pen is one unit. Right? Then my second sentence, I got to know that my red pen total is three units. Okay? You have your ones over three, one unit, three units. This is my total of the red 
ends total weight this one is sold for the weight now if you see here if you see from this part i have break and i have break again who is repeating itself parents and students the red pants is repeating itself okay so my first thing is first to solve the sum very easy i will draw out the repeated identity concept table okay i have two items here i have my red and i have my blue right so just a simple table will do just a simple table will do okay usually i will have three columns okay now my red here from my first one i know that my red have one unit my blue is six units right from the second one i know that my red total look at the total total is always the denominator it is three units right now look at blue is there anything mentioned about blue nothing right so who is repeating itself here is actually my red pants repeating itself can you see one and three repeating okay so i'm here at times three equals to three whatever i do here the next box in the row must do the same. Here also, times 3 becomes 80 units. Now, you look at your rate. How many units? 3 units. This one is 80 units. What is this information? This is actually my total. Total of my rate and total of my blue. Which is actually the B4. Okay? Before anything happens, this is what we have left uh, at first. Right? We have... 3 units of the red and then we have 18 units of the blue. Okay? Understand so far? Right now, we have already identified the exact unit for the red and the blue. Red, how many units at first? 3 units. Blue, how many units at first? 18 units. Okay? Now, we move on because we know that in this sum, right, this is my B4, my B, right? I know my C. This is also my C. And then, we have he bought half as many blue pants as before. He bought half. Half means it's 1 over 2. Okay? Or in your head, you must be thinking divided by 2. Just put down there. Okay? As many blue pants as before. Now, let's look at the blue pants before. Blue pants before. Right? So, which means he bought half of 18. Half of 18 equals to 9 units or what we can do is 18 divided by 2 equals to 9 units okay clear then he had 87 red and blue pens in the end 87 red and blue pens in the end this tells me that this is my after this is my after okay how many blue pens did he have at first i want to find blue I want to find at first, which means I want to find my before for the blue pens. Now comes the exciting part. We are going to draw out the PCA table. And if you notice, look at the change, right? Red pens was sold. Blue pens he bought. Red pens he sold. Blue pens he bought. There are changes going on for both of the items and the changes are different. Red pencil, blue pens, bought. If you have two items changing differently, this is all changing quantity concept. So when you draw out your table, okay, we draw it here. Okay, we have your red and then we have your blue. Okay. Then we put in the B, the C, and the A. Okay. Then. Now we're going to fill up the table accordingly. Before, here means my total. Okay. Change, here means my sold or my bought. After means my left. Okay. So I know my before, I know what is bought, I know what is sold, I know what is left in the end. Okay, I know everything. All I have to do is put into the table accordingly. Before red. So let's go. If you don't want to go back here or you can just refer to the table we have before here. Okay, so we have before red. How many units? 
green. B for blue. B for blue. How many minutes? 18 minutes. Change red. Let's go back here. We have your change. Okay, so red. Change red. How many minutes is so? One minute. Minus one minute. Okay. Change blue. The change blue is bought. Okay, we bought how many? We bought nine minutes. Bought means I must add nine minutes. Okay, now to find your left means you just go column per column. Three units minus one unit give me two units. 18 units plus nine units give me 27 units. Now, questions, uh, the question says that he had 87 red and blue pens in the end. In the end is what he had left. Okay, which means 27 unit plus 2 units, 2 units plus 27 units, equal to 87 pens. How many units is this? 2 and 27, this is actually 29 units. Okay, which means 29 units is 87 1 unit is 87 divided by 29 equals to 3. I want to know how many blue pens he have at first. Blue pens have at first. How many units must I find? I need to find 18 units. 18 units is 18 times 3 equals to 54 blue pens. This is my answer. Okay, so for some of you, you might be thinking, oh, this is very difficult. Okay, actually, it's not difficult. This is the easier way to minimize mistake. Okay, because students, if they draw the model and they cut wrongly, right, they might miss out some of the parts and then everything will be wrong. Okay, for this method, what I do is I identify how much exactly each of these items have at first by doing the repeated identity concept table. Then I put the all changing quantity. This is all changing quantity. This is repeated identity concept. Okay. Now, some of you might be wondering, oh, I don't like, I do not like table. I don't want table. It's okay. You don't want table. Let me just solve this sum using the model method. Okay. So we go back to the question. We know that we have uh, red and blue. Okay. We go back here. So we have one unit, a one part red. And then the blue is 6 unit. One part red, blue is 6 unit. Can you see that? Okay, look, one part red, blue is 6. Still, you still have to use the information given here. One part red, how to get the blue? I take 7 unit minus 1 unit. Okay, so I have here my red, we draw, and my blue. Red is one part, and my blue is actually 6 parts. Right, we have that. Okay, I usually like to draw my original parts a bit longer so I know where is the original parts later when I cut. Okay, All right now they say that when he saw one over three of the red pens, which means the red pen must cut it how many parts? Three. Okay, so one, two, three. If you cut here three parts, each of these parts also must cut into three. Okay? So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, I cut out already. Next, we have to shape the one that is for the red one. One out of three is so. So this one is so. Okay? Alright? Now, for the blue, they hit the cell, but he actually bought half as what he had at first. So, at first is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I have 18 units. Half of 18 units means 18 divided by 2 equals to 9 units. Which means he bought 9 units more. This is bought at the end. Okay? Right? So, which means, what do I have here? This one is what I have left. How many units is this? One, two. This is two units. How many units of blue do I have in the end? I have 18 plus 9. 
18 unit plus 9. Give me 27 units. Okay. So, I know that the question say that the number of red and blue pens in the end is 87. So, I take 27 units plus 2 units equals to 29 units. 29 unit is 87. And then you will go back to this side here. Okay. Alright, so I hope this is clear. So you see, this sum, this, this sum is actually about uh, 4 marks question. Okay. And you can actually solve it using repeated identity concept table plus all changing quality concept table. Why? Because the question for both of the red pens, they change differently. They change, but both change differently. Alright, so if you do not want to use this, you can use your comparison model. This is the comparison model. You can see the red and the blue, right? But make sure you cut out properly. So the crucial part is this one. You have to figure out the number of units that represent the left. Before you get here, you have to find the exact unit for the red and blue. This one. Or what I say, this portion. Okay, this portion and this portion is very important. Okay? So I hope this is clear. For those of you who have just watched this, why not share this video, alright? So you can repeat this again and again from the start. Make sure your child understands this concept because this is actually three. One, two, three of the must know PSLE math concept, okay? So if you are keen to find out, if you want your child to learn all the 25 PSLE math concept. And when I say PSLE means your child needs to know all this by P5 and by P6 they have mastered it. If your child do not know, haven't mastered, why not come and try out our free trial lesson with me. It's absolutely free. Okay, you can actually click on that link or you can actually, if you want to click on the link, you can just SMS me directly. This is my number, 9109 SMS or WhatsApp me only, no calls allowed, okay? Or if, you are, if your child has done um, rather badly in his recent CA1 exam, okay, and your child is sitting for PSLE this year, and you're quite anxious to help your child in his math, why not come and sign up for our math tuition class? Because for the marvelous month of March, I'm giving of $85 off for the total registration. Of the tuition okay so as mentioned three of the must know PSLE concepts is here so if your child can understand how to figure out the concept and apply the concept properly for each question three must know concepts down okay right so I hope this is clear remember like love share this video so that other parents can benefit as well okay so this is Pinky Dyer from Genius Young Minds where we help the child scoring math within a very short period of time Goodbye.